Yo, 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 what is up, my fallopian tubers? Cesario from the barrio coming back at you with another V day yo for your butt. And just gonna make another quick video. I uh, went through my vintage box, a different vintage box, and just pulled out a couple of cards. Thought I'd go through them. Check out this, like, this 76. Oscar Gamble, stand behind me, Satan! Stand behind me! <laughs> if you guys get that from my last page of the reference, but really, really bad miss cut right there. Uh, really off centered. Uh, but sweet man, love how uh, this. Every time I see this card, it reminds me of a of a song called Afro. You know, I rock rough and tough with my Afro puffs. It's a it's a rap song. <laughs> so some of you might get it, and some of you might not get that reference. But check out this 41 play ball, uh, Jimmy Fox. So if you were to see this card in black and white, it was a 1940. So they had these cards in 1940 in black and white. And then in 1941, they just added color to the same picture on most of them, not all of them. Uh, Warren Spawn, 58. Sweet right there. This is a double that I have. I have two Warren Spawn, so... I normally keep my best condition card in my um, binder, so this would be in worse shape than the one that's in my binder. I prefer to keep the best card in my binder. Uh, check out this Baseball Thrills Willie Mays. Such a badass card. The whole Baseball Thrills um, inserts, I uh, really don't like to call them inserts because they're just part of the regular number set. But this is Willie Mays catch, greatest catch at the time ever made. You know, um, I don't become such a homer where I try to say this. there's never been a better catch than this. But this paved the way, let people know stuff like this was possible. Now, Tim Salmon's catch, we did practically the same thing. But diving, whew, sweet catch, man. And we got this 79 uh, liters of Rich Gossage and Raleigh Fingers. Man. And back then, if you could see, they were called firemen. All right. The relieving and stuff like that wasn't really part of the game. They only came in if the starting pitcher was really getting smoked. So that's why they called them firemen because they were coming in to put out the fire. And man, check it out. 55 Bowman. Of Eddie Matthews. One of my favorite players. I when I was a kid, I kind of had a had like I guess like a PC, what you guys would call it now. But I had a, so much respect for guys who were like really great, but overshadowed because someone on their team was just spectacular. So who do you think um, Eddie Matthews was overshadowed by? Right. Hank Aaron. You know, I remember like Matt Williams on the Giants when I was a kid in the '80s. He was overshadowed by Barry Bonds. Howard Johnson overshadowed by Daryl Strawberry. I had a respect for the second man up. You know what I mean? That were great, but they just got overshadowed. And check out this Nelly Fox. All right. So you can see, check out the difference in color of the TV. Like one is mahogany and one is ash. Pretty sweet though. I just love these cards, the way they say color TV right here. And yeah, when I was a kid, we had exactly these type of TVs that were humongous, you know. And a 62 Willie Maris, Maris Blast 61st. That's how in my head it works. Every time I, I see this border, I immediately say that's what comes, how I remember it's a 62 because it, the, uh, this card right here where it commemorates its 61st home run and he hit 61 in 61. So obviously the next year they commemorated that in the 62. Uh, and this is just a modern card, but I still keep it. <laughs> it's always been kept in my vintage box. It's an Al K line and this is a 2010 and I just think it's such a badass card. It's a bookend to numbered card. And I had actually bought this for another YouTuber. But she um, declined me sending it to her. So I was like, all right, I guess I ended up keeping it. But I, I'm always so, so amazed because I'm really not a fan of 
uh, what a group I was in started calling deathbed autos. You know, when uh, the stars are older and they sign and they're shaky and just not that great. Like if they're in their deathbed. So I've always had that on my head, deathbed autos. And this one, man, he was an old man when he signed this, but it, wow, no shaky, just bakey right there. And I got a Ron Tompkins uh, rookie card. Sweet, man, from the 50, uh, 68 set right there, the burlap. All right. And a 54 Bowman, I believe, Martin. Now, this one I just purchased recently. This is what, like one of my most recent purchases. And I just wasn't sure if I even had a Billy Martin, man. But look at that guy. He's a thin dude. He was a great guy. Uh, he got traded from the Yankees because they thought he was a bad influence on Mickey Mantle. And um, some may argue that Mickey Mantle was really the bad influence. But Mickey Mantle had better numbers. And I think this is a, it's a hostess card. Some people call them Twinkie cards. Whatever they came in. Um, I am not. Uh, I never claimed to be a professional. I'm a card collector and I just buy what I like and I like it. I like it a lot. Johnny Bench looking young. I was a big fan of Johnny Bench because of the baseball bunch. Same thing with um, Gary Carter, Ozzie Smith because I used to see him on the baseball bunch. Uh, Hank Aaron, Nestle card. This is, I think this was like from 85 or something. It's uh, like Circle K or Circle K. Nestle obviously. But um, sweet um, oddball card, I guess some people will call them. And then I got this Ted Williams, 55. Sweet card. Played in the Citrus League. Look at that, baby. That's a sweet card. And what trips me out um, when I first bought this card and I kept looking at that logo. Uh, this was one of the first Red Sox cards that I had with this logo on it. And I kept looking at it. And I didn't get what it was. Like, what the hell is that monster thing right there? And what's funny is that as a, as a kid, I used to always look at the Red Sox logo and I'm like, why don't they have a a Red Sox? You know, which, I mean, they, they kind of do. But when this one came, when I saw this one, I just did not see, oh, it is a Red Sox. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't see that that was a Red Sox with the bat. It was just like, what the hell is this monster right here? But awesome, awesome uh, card right there. And then we got a press pass of Lou Gehrig. I I um I remember winning this in an auction for like super dirt cheap. Uh, I got a stamp of Babe Ruth. It's an actual stamp, so blank back. Don't know much about this. I just remember buying it like out of dollar box. Uh, Yogi Berra, fifty eight. Now this used to be the card on my 1958 set right there. This used to be the cover on it. And then man, somebody just blessed me out of nowhere. And I still can't remember exactly who it was. I feel so bad because I want to send them back something. But they sent me a 58 Mickey Mantle raw card so I could put it on my um, spine. And I'm forever grateful. I just got to remember who exactly who it was, which I think I remember now. Uh, but this used to be the cover on that. And, and so this is a double because I have, uh, like I said, I always put the better version if I have doubles inside my binder. So that used to be on the spine on my binder. Willie McCovey, rookie card. I believe these are 1960, right? Just look, um, they don't really look exactly like the rest of the set do. But the trophy card, man, look at that trophy. It's evolved, you know, it evolves over the years. But William McCovey, one of the most underrated players ever. And then we got uh, the Say Hey Kid, Willie Mays, 1957 tops. Look at that. So this is like one of the cars that I bought, you know, 20 years ago. You know, sweet. Look at that. Perfect, perfect card. And a Carl Yastrzemski rookie, man. I don't want to repeat my story with this card. 
but I guess you could say and I can think about it this was not this one in particular but first vintage card that I ever had one of my dad's friend gave me one when I was a little mocoso running in the streets and um, I ended up getting trading it when I was a kid and had to get this card back thinking it was gonna fill that hole like like the original and it really didn't I wish I never made that trade ever and I had the original one but there's the Jastrzemski rookie and um, if I'm correct I don't think he was actually a rookie until 1961 so you could say this was his prospect card but growing up we never nobody ever said prospect card or you know uh, free playing card or whatever you want to call it uh, this was just his rookie back in the days we considered his first card his rookie uh, Tech Luzinski one of the greatest cards and I used to always wonder like how come he doesn't have any sleeves does a lot of people say I remember hearing a lot of people would say like oh he cut off the sleeves and it wasn't really till um, when I was working at USC and I saw how the players they have an undershirt that goes with this jersey and this is a top piece you can't you're not supposed to wear it without the with the other piece I was like, okay he just didn't wear the underlining piece but man this to me is just such a great historical card showing off his guns you know back then people weren't into lifting weights if you were a big dude you were a natural big dude from whatever you did at home you know working with wood pushing cars working in the coal mines and just going to round it off with a couple of stamps that I have. Check out this Dusty Baker. Um, I have the whole Atlanta run from I don't know what year this is. But it's the Dusty Baker. Daryl Evans who was one of my favorite PCs growing up. Because I used to collect um, uh, in the 80s. I would love the cards of the players with the longest careers. With the smallest number. I was like who has the smallest number. Because the longer your career was. Uh, the smaller your stats were in the back to fit them in. And Daryl Evans was right up there with like Jose Cruz, you know, Burt Bly Levin, just people who had crazy long careers. Uh, so did, um, like say, Nolan Ryan, but in the 80s, his career wasn't as long as he ended up with, you know. But Daryl Evans, Hank Aaron, like for, for whatever, um, so like I said, I, have, I think I have like the whole Braves team. <laughs> oh, that one's upside down. All right, but anyways, love the hobby, and just keep collecting baseball cards forever, S.A. Ciao! <laughs> Vintage cards forever, S.A. Mr. Taliman, I like a banana. Look at my two donkeys. My two donkeys, always chilling with me. I know they, I never show them in the videos, but they're here every time. <laughs>